As you can see, the side skirts are off. Today, we're actually gonna be bonding them together. The piece right here where it was uh, two separate pieces, but the fender and the side skirt itself, I'm gonna be joining them together. This is the stuff you'll need, fiberglass resin, and you will also need the fiberglass mat. They have like a cloth version where it's almost like carbon fiber, but I went with this because it looks a little bit stronger. So this is the only two things you'll need. And probably you need some kind of brush to like lay it on there and use this to like dab it so there's no air bubbles. So I put about four or five layers of fiberglass on this part. I'm gonna wait for that to fully dry, then I'm gonna flip it over, take this uh, block off and put the fiberglass on the bottom. I made it as thick as possible. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's actually really thick. I'm just going to wait about half an hour to see if it hardens. I'm hoping that it hardens and it's all good, so I can do the bottom. Uh, do the other side skirt that I can actually bond out the front so it's nice and smooth. It's been about 20 minutes of hardening, and I must say, here's the thing that I was spreading it with. It was actually a paintbrush that I just cut. I can't even, like, break these apart. It is... Damn. It is, like, glued strong, so... I'm having high hopes for that. I'm super happy with that. Um, it's only this part. I still got to do the bottom. Probably, honestly, don't even have to since it's so strong. But I'm going to do the bottom just uh, just in case. So it's a little bit more sturdy. But damn, this thing's insanely strong. got to cut some more of this. I'm about to start on the other side skirt. I'm already sanding it down. But damn, I'm so happy with this. Nice. You have to let it sit for about two hours to fully cure. It's only been about 20, 30 minutes, so I still got another hour and a half to go. Everything came out amazing, like that fiberglass stuff with the resin works amazing, it's super strong. That that piece is just like solid as hell, I'm super happy with it, except that piece is a little bit messed up. This one was also messed up, but I already cut it and I'm redoing everything. Basically what I did was, I thought I made them straight, but when I went to mock it back up to the car, there was a gap right here. There was a gap here and here, so basically I kind of made this piece go like crooked that way. So that was my fault, but I'm already fixing that one. Um, it's already, I'm just waiting for it to harden because I actually finished everything. My camera died, I didn't know. But I cut it and I fixed it with more resin and fiberglass. So this thing is done already. Like I'm probably gonna add a little bit more there. Once it's done, I'm gonna put it on the car and then I'm gonna put the fiberglass bondo on top in the front. Then it shouldn't crack because I tried to do it without this fiberglass in the back and it was just cracking. But now since it's not flexible, it won't crack at all, it'll just be one solid piece. So I'm happy with this one. That one I still have to cut and redo. But this fiberglass resin stuff is so easy to use. Um, just mix in the hardener into the resin, mix it well, layer at least three, four, five maybe uh, sheets of uh, fiberglass and wait for it to harden. It takes about half an hour to an hour, depending on how hot it is outside. If it's like 70s or 80s, it might take two, two and a half hours it says, but mine is actually hardening really fast, so I'm really happy about that because I can throw it in the car, measure if it's proper, add some more, and uh, yeah, but so far very happy with this side, which is the passenger side. Driver side, I still got a lot to do. Uh, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. I don't know, I'm kind of running out of time right now. It's like five o'clock. Uh, this one I kind of want to throw one in Bondo, but I might just leave the Bondo for tomorrow and fix that one today. Okay, so this side I'm pretty much done with. Um, I decided a primer just to see if there's any bumps or anything, and there are. Uh, if I could zoom in, yeah, right there. Those will be bondoed, but uh, right now what it has is the fiberglass behind it, and then it has the actual bondo fiberglass on top. 
Velkes, come on. So it's pretty much nice and strong now. I just have to add the body filler bundle right here where the little patches are. Uh, same right there, and then it's completely done. I can just uh, sand it some more, and then I can start on the other side. Once the other side's done, the only thing that's left is just sanding the whole car and probably fixing a little bit of the chips in the front of the bumper and the rear, and she's ready for paint. But happy that I did this, because this thing was looking really stupid. I know they cut it for uh, shipping purposes, but this is so much better. I like this so much more. Um, there is a gap here. Um, kind of matches the upper gap. I guess that's how all of them come, even the factory. I believe there was a gap. Uh, it doesn't really bother me because once it's going to be painted, it's going to look really good. Probably going to have to sand the top right here a little bit because I don't know if uh, they're going to do it because I'm getting it painted at Mako. That's almost done. I just have to fill in these tiny little holes that are popping out. They're popping out right there, so I just have to fill them back in, sand it down, this flare will be done. That flare is done, this will almost be done. And I gotta fix that, patch up the little screw flare right there. Patch up this little screw and put the other screws in. Probably gonna have the screws in the side screws so I can remove them. But now we have to like take it on the lift because some lifts can't really like compensate for this lip or this side screw and I don't really wanna break it. So I have it set up that I can remove it. But yeah, that's pretty much for it for today. Um, I'm gonna continue this video with the next day. I'm going to be finishing that side the next day because I'm uh, running out of light. So I'm pretty much done with this side and I'm really happy with it. Six hours later. Okay, so I'm completely out of time. It's already really dark. But I finished this side. Um, I was able to uh, fix it all so there's no more gap. Well, a little bit because I still need to put a bolt through it. But the gap was like right here and this thing would sit like right there. But now everything's like nice and good. Um, I'm gonna be replacing these bolts so I can actually push this in further a little bit. But overall, like I'm super happy with how it came out. This thing was a little bit floppy for some reason. One of the bolts broke. Don't know how, but I tried to fix it. So now it's nice and sturdy. Um, you have to think of something because it is kind of poking out right here. But I think it's because of the way I put the fiberglass on. So I'll probably just take it off a little bit, sand it down or sand it down right here just to make it a little bit flusher with this. But the rest of the body line is nice and flush. But so happy. Um, this still needs Bondo, so don't mind these little uh, imperfections right here. It's just the fiberglass. It still needs to put the filler Bondo on. Once I do that, all of this will be nice and smooth. And you won't even tell that this thing was ever a two-piece. So it's coming along. Still have to fill up that hole right there where that uh, screw used to be. But that's about it. Once this is nice and sanded, that's it. The whole car is getting sanded into paint. So trunk is molded flares are molded front bumper rear bumper and the the top of the uh, fenders are the only thing that's left and then the whole body that i just have to send i'm probably going to have them fix this big ass dent i don't know if you can see it right there um i've tried to use those suction cups they didn't work out well so i'm just going to have them try to do it but uh yeah so so far everything's coming out really good um this is nice and molded that's nice and molded like I'm not a professional, this is my first time doing all this. And for a first time, I'm really happy with it. Maybe in the future, if uh, it cracks on me or something, I'll do it again and I'll do it better. But I already know the process and it was really, honestly fun. A lot of people like say bondoing and molding sucks, but I don't know, it's something about it that like kind of like relaxes you. Like you put on so much layers of something and then you sand it down. It's just so like refreshing, I don't know. I liked sanding, like I really liked doing this and the flares, it was really fun, so I guess I need to open up my own shop and do this for everybody else, because it was pretty fun. But that's pretty much it for this video, I tried to record more, but my freaking uh, camera died, just took some time and I kind of like just wanted to get this done because I was running out of time. But yeah, this car is almost there, almost there guys, like maybe another few days, just gotta patch up some um, chips, some uh, holes and that's it, she's off to paint, so we're almost there we're almost at the finished product like i mentioned i have the wheels there i have my suspension in the house so this whole build has everything here it's just it's been so tedious and so much like time consuming to do all this like properly even though i don't know why since this is a drift build i'm trying to make it like perfect as hell for some reason but it is what it is so that's a little update for you guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out